I'm gonna tell you something today that Coinbase seemingly doesn't want you to know, and it's gonna save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I actually created a free tool customized to you to show you exactly how much you can save. Welcome to the channel. I'm Brian Logan. I am so thankful that you are here. And I gotta say, no matter where you are in your financial journey, I wholeheartedly believe that you are smart enough and fully capable enough of taking control of your finances. With that said, go hit that subscribe button right now so that you and I can continue these chats about personal finance, investing, swing trading, crypto to help elevate your wealth. All right, there's a lot to unpack here. So let's just jump straight in. The way you save this cash is pretty simple. It's switching from Coinbase to Coinbase Pro. Now wait, I know, there was probably a lot running through your head right there. And firstly, yes, I did just tell you to switch to a pro service to save money. This is super counterintuitive. Most places charge you more money for more functionality. That is not the case with Coinbase. And we're actually gonna get into that in a minute. The second thing that might have run through your head was, does this really matter? Aren't I paying like, a couple bucks per trade, it matters. And I'm gonna show you just how much it matters in the magnitude of hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Before I go into a little bit about why I think Pro is cheaper than traditional Coinbase, I wanted to briefly define what Coinbase and Co Coinbase Pro are fundamentally. So they're exchanges. Some would maybe say a grand exchange where a bunch of people, buyers and sellers can come together to exchange goods of really any kind. If you got that reference, comment right now below that game and what skill you wanted to get that level 99k for. I digress. So there are exchanges where bunches of buyers and sellers can get together so you don't have to go find some random person to trade your Bitcoin with. Another interesting thing about Coinbase and Coinbase Pro is when you trade on Coinbase, your trades are actually getting routed through Coinbase Pro. So why not just do Coinbase Pro? The reason I think Coinbase Pro is less expensive than Coinbase is honestly because Coinbase is just trying to market to the masses. And they're able to do that by selling this idea of simplicity and great aesthetics. And that's who they're trying to capture. They're not trying to capture the more advanced investor or Wall Street in general has always just had this idea that nobody knows what to do. It's so complicated and that works for them because a lot of people just hand over their money. But that is not what you and I are gonna do. We can understand this, we can break this down. It's really not that complicated. In fact, there are six steps, just six steps in both Coinbase and Coinbase Pro to do the exact same thing. So fundamentally, Coinbase Pro is less money for more. All right, let's get into the Coinbase fees. So Coinbase charges you a flat rate based off of your trade size. I'm gonna flash up a graphic on the screen. So what you're looking at are all the different buckets of trade sizes and their associated fees. So let's take an example of this. If you look down at that 50 to $200 per trade, that means you wanted to buy anywhere between 50 and $200 worth of Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever coin you wanted to buy. That cost of that trade is $2.99 every time you make that trade, whether you're buying or selling. And that translates to a percent fee between one and a half percent at that $200 or up to 6% if you're trading closer to that $50 mark. And you can see, if you look above, if you're trading any smaller than that, you're trading between anywhere between four and 15% or even more, which is just outrageous. So what does all this mean? Let's break it down. So if you're dollar cost averaging into a coin, which basically means you're just buying coin over time, you're not just dumping all your money in at once. So with that, you're gonna be buying quite a lot and because of that, the least amount you'll be paying is one and a half, just under one and a half percent per trade, potentially all the way up to that 15%. So all summed up, Coinbase, you're paying a minimum of one and a half percent, potentially all the way up to 15% per trade. Coinbase Pro, the max that you'll pay per trade is a half a percent. Yeah, a half a percent. That means no matter what trade size you're doing, you just immediately saved 66% on all of your trades. And if you're like me and trade about $100 or so per transaction, that's close to that 80, 83% savings. Now that sounds like a lot, and it is, but we need to translate this into cold, hard cash. So 
Let's do an example. Let's say that you were going to dollar cost average into Bitcoin and say buy $100 worth of Bitcoin every other week for three years. That's 78 trades or about $7,800. If you were to do this on Coinbase, you'd be paying about $240 in fees. If you did it on Coinbase Pro, it would be just under $40. That is a $200 savings. Now, some of you might be thinking $200 over three years, like, come on, that's not a big deal. And maybe you're right. But really, if you think about it, there's an opportunity cost. Let's say you had taken that $200 three years ago and put it in Bitcoin. That $200 you threw away would now be worth 1,500 Benjamins. That's right, $200 worth of fees, $1,500 over those three years. So does it seem like a small amount of money every trade you do? Yes. Does it add up? Absolutely. And it's so easy to switch and trade. And we're going to get into that in just a minute. Before we do, just a reminder, at the end of this video, I'm going to be giving you a free tool to see exactly how much you're saving if you switch over to Coinbase Pro. And also you just learned you could be saving $1,500. Hit that like button below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, we've now done the what. We're switching over to Coinbase Pro. It's saving us a minimum of 66%. Now, how do we do this? So we're gonna cover two things. First, getting set up in Coinbase Pro, and then secondly, how to trade in Coinbase Pro and how that's similar and different than Coinbase. Remember, <laughs> it's six steps in both apps. If you're just starting out in this crypto world and don't already have a Coinbase or Coinbase Pro account, just go ahead and get set up straight in Coinbase Pro. I'll put a link below so you can just directly get set up. If you already do have a Coinbase Pro account, guess what? It's the same login. All you have to do is download the Coinbase Pro app, log in using your user credential. And at that point, all you have to do is just transfer your funds over. We're going to go through that right now. All right, so here we are in the Coinbase Pro app. All I did is download it from the Google Play Store. You can download it from the App Store as well. And this is what the first screen looks like. So you can either sign in or get started. Go ahead and hit sign in, and then go ahead and put your Coinbase username and password in and hit sign in. So this is the main page of Coinbase Pro, and this is showing you all of the different markets that are available. So you can see that first one is Bitcoin, the second one's Ethereum, Litecoin, and it goes on and on. So this is just kind of the state of the market. So the first thing we need to do if you have a Coinbase account is you need to transfer over your coins to Coinbase Pro. And it's super simple. All you gotta do is go to this pie chart, which is your portfolio. So this is my current portfolio. I'm all about transparency, so here you go. I've got about $4,500 worth of funds in this Coinbase Pro account with about, you can see the holdings below Bitcoin. I've got some Bitcoin, some Ether, and some US dollar. So while I've already moved over all, most of my Bitcoin and Ether from Coinbase, I do have some comp coin that we can do this together. So all we have to do to move our coin over from Coinbase is hit deposit, find the coin that you wanted to use. So again, you'll likely have Bitcoin, Ether, and whatever else you're trading. We're gonna do comp today, hit comp. We have a Coinbase account, so we're gonna hit coinbase.com. So now you can actually see that it's showing exactly how much comp I have in Coinbase, which is about 0.02 comp. So what we wanna do is move, move over that 0.02 comp. So we're just gonna say 0.02. You can see that there's no fees. It's a free transfer from Coinbase to Coinbase Pro. It's instantaneous and you get to do as many times as you want. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit deposit comp. Done. Now we've moved over our comp or whatever coin you're moving from Coinbase to Coinbase Pro. And there you go. Now it shows up where we didn't have it before. All right, now that we're all set up in Coinbase Pro, we're gonna go through the trading and I'm gonna show you those six steps I talked about. We're gonna actually do it in Coinbase and then show you in Coinbase Pro so you know I'm not pulling your leg. So let's go ahead and grab our phones. All right, so this is Coinbase. To trade, we're gonna to go to this blue dot down here. So this is step one. Step two is hit buy. Three is choose your coin. We're gonna go ahead and go with Bitcoin. Then we're gonna enter in how much we want. We're gonna hit preview. All right, here's the transaction that's gonna take place. So you can see how much Bitcoin we're buying. And oh boy, there's that Coinbase fee of 299 on that 100 bucks. No longer after this. Then you hit buy, and those are your six steps to buy on Coinbase. Now let's jump over to Coinbase Pro. Here's that home screen that we talked about before. So to make our trade, we're gonna choose what we wanna trade. So let's do apples to apples, we're gonna do Bitcoin, step one. Now, there's a lot more information here, but honestly, 
at this point, just ignore all of it. You don't really care because you can't really see that in Coinbase anyway. Now, there's a lot of great functionality here and we'll save that for another video. But for the purposes of this, we're just gonna keep it simple, apples to apples. So the next thing is we're gonna say buy, just like in Coinbase. You'll wanna change this thing that says limit up here to market. And this is just the type of order. Again, you don't need to worry about this if you just wanna save on the fees. We can get into more about what these orders are and the advanced trading, but honestly, just don't worry about it. All you have to do is change it to market. And all that means is it's gonna trade at whatever the current price of Bitcoin is. So same thing, if you wanna buy $100, you hit 100. There's our fee, 50 cents, which is 0.5% of $100. We're gonna preview our order and just place buy order. And it will do exactly what you did on Coinbase. So that's it, six simple steps on Coinbase. All right, we did it. We placed a trade in Coinbase Pro. Pretty simple, right? Now, you might have been intimidated by all the things going on. Don't be. It's really straightforward. If you don't want to worry about all the extra tools, don't. All you have to do is hit that market order, that little drop down that we showed you, and that's it. The exact same thing as Coinbase. Don't eat, don't overthink it. Don't get trapped into this ease of use and pay too much money for it. Just don't do it. I would love to spend more time with you going through what some of those more advanced features are. If you're interested, comment down below, yes, I wanna learn more about those advanced features of Coinbase Pro. And don't forget, right now, go, there's a link in the description to my blog, put in your email and I will send you a free, totally customizable Google Sheet that shows you exactly how much you can save based off of how much you wanna trade. It's really simple, really straightforward, and I built it for you. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you learned something new and can start saving that cash and making bank in the crypto market. I'm Brian Logan. Don't forget to stay healthy, love your family, and elevate your wealth. So Coinboy, Coinbase.